Welcome back everybody. Well, what you see right now is me determined to make this video. I started when it was still light out. We could still see <laughs> the sky and everything and and now it's dark. I'm out on my front deck. I wish I could show you a view, but uh, that's not going to happen. And while I've been doing take after take and uh, I got to get this finished because uh, this is a cool Monday video, I think. And I want to show you the new finds that I found. And for Monday, it's usually boring. You know, there's nothing. Because everything's been bought over the weekend. But this time, well, first Walmart I went to, there's nothing. And the second one, I found the Hot Wheels Boulevard series. And those are exclusive to Walmart. So let's have a look at the first one. All right, number 76, the Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe. And I've yet to find a black version. <laughs> that would be appropriate, wouldn't it? But very cool. Look at that beautiful metallic yellow paint. Great temples on the back. I love the open wing where it's not a solid piece. Now, if you want, you could always take this out of the package and file down the wing, make it look more realistic. But uh, anyways, uh, very cool temples on the front. Now I'm doing this with one LED bulb at the front door and uh, I think it's working okay. But anyways, so let's look at the next one. All right, number 77. Actually, the 77 Holden Toronto. That's really cool. E9X. I love these uh, Australian cars and Holden was owned by GM. So these are GM uh, from Australia and South America, they sold these in, and I think over in maybe Spain, I'm thinking. Anyways, uh, very cool. Well, in Europe, uh, they were available too, weren't they? Somebody tell me. I'm not sure, but I just love these. You know, uh, it's not until maybe, you know, a dozen years ago that I wasn't really aware of uh, the, you know, Australian cars and these particular Holdens and I absolutely love them now and it's very cool Hot Wheels are coming out with these castings so let's look at the next one number 70 and one of the all-time cool cars Toyota AE86 Sprinter Tirano and this is very cool in the Advan livery and this one has the headlights in the up position so they've got nice tempos on the headlights Excuse the lighting, but I hope you can see that. And then the you know, turn signals and there's a uh, driving light down below the bumper. Anyways, uh, that's really cool. The back end's nicely done. Look at the temples on that. Very cool. So love that one. So let's look at number 79. 79, Mitsubishi Launcher Evolution 6. Uh, I love this body style. It's really cool. Uh, I think this is, what, 2004-ish. Uh, Matchbox has a very cool version of this. And love that. And the stripe is really cool. Very simple, very stylish. And really cool. And then the front end. I mean, look at those driving lights down below. They almost like the, like they have jewels in them or something. <laughs> but anyways, very cool. So let's look at number 80. Number 80 is the 91 GMC Cyclone. Well, these were very fast trucks. Look at that beautiful top of work on the front. I'm not going to take these out, but you know, maybe one day I'll make a video and the taillights. Her end looks really nice. Psycho. So that's really cool. Well, let's look at some mainline Hot Wheels. Brand new stuff and some recolors. Okay, let's look at some recolors first. And there's the Porsche that I absolutely love. And a very cool new casting from Hot Wheels. And here's the chassis here. 2022 in white. Now you notice uh, on the back there's no chrome and uh, the front is starting to kind of chip off. 
Well, there's the driver's side. Well, the chrome actually comes off real easy. If you just, you know, scratch it with your fingernails, it'll come off. Oh, can you see that there? Yeah, so anyways, if you want black wheels, then take it out of the package and take the chrome off. But very cool. So the new color is orange, and I absolutely love it in orange. And as you can see, the taillights are actually part of the headlight or the window unit. Uh, and then the front marker lights, uh, turn signals, that's part of the window unit as well. So that's really cool. So you get front and rear details, really nice. Uh, the bumpers front and rear are part of the plastic chassis. But premium, it's going to be an absolutely cool die cast to have. And then you got the Porsche badge on the the bonnet, the hood, the frunk, and headlight detail, very simple, but very cool casting. Now the recolor is the Miley K, and this is a Ryu Asada. And so very nice. Very cool little, uh, little key truck, I believe they called. They're very small, small engines, but if you hop them up, they look absolutely fantastic so love that one now this is the first color of the mercedes-benz 560 sec amg <laughs> well you can read that i don't need to call it out but very cool very cool casting nice simple tempos for the taillights the rear end detailing and the front so that's really nice well the second color now is in this beautiful silver and now you can really see the body work on this, the wide body. And uh, it's got the same wheels. And like the Porsche, you know, the bottom one has the chrome rims. But now these wheels are all chrome, same wheels. And that looks really cool. So what do you think? Uh, this is the American card. You can see that little symbol there that indicates it's an American case. And new for 2023, but they don't tell you on the international package at all. But we all know that's a very cool new first edition. So let's look at the next one. Another American package, new for 2023. And it, the first edition was in green with the three-spoke wheels. Uh, or the double three spoke and then these are the aero discs in orange now and i think that's absolutely gorgeous uh, you might see a moth flying around <laughs> i just saw a moth there you go and anyways very cool there you go love the tempo work on the back excellent with the flared fenders and the very cool hood tempo i love that one and with the headlights taped up. <laughs> so that's really cool. So let's look at another one. Another new one for 2023. Look at that. The Jeep pickup truck. Done in off-road fashion. And look at the spotlights are actually got tapos on them. Really cool. And then uh, it's off-road. So it's got no windshield. But BF Goodrich. And I don't... Oh, there is a Jeep logo up top if we can read it there you go and down below very nice this metallic orange and hot wheels does a beautiful metallic orange and they've been making that color for over 20 years anyways that's a really cool casting And you got the chrome grill, part of the interior. That's going to be an excellent premium vehicle. So look out for that one. So let's look at another one. Now this is a cool new first edition. It's the Volvo XC40 Recharge. So Recharge, is that an electric or just a hybrid? But look at that cool tempo on the side. I love that. Beautiful metallic green, a light metallic green. 
You got a roof rack with some uh, skis on them or snowboards. There you go. That's really cool. You get some tail light details, which is really nice. And then Volvo on the tailgate. It's very light and silver there, but really nice. And then you turn around the front and what? There's nothing on the front at all. Oh, that looks horrible. Well, not horrible, but look, that's what you want it to look like. And there's nothing. Oh, man. I'd rather have a front and no taillights than taillights and no front. And there is, if you look down just behind the uh, light bar, the uh, front push bar, brush guard, there is a little uh, grill detail, but oh man, they gotta they gotta do a better job on that one. But still, very cool to find this. So that's really neat. This is part of the Then and Now series. Tesla Roadster. So 2008 Tesla Roadster, and it's 2008. Comma 2022 Mattel, so it's been updated. The casting has been updated, cleaned up a bit. And uh, I don't have a first one then and now, so they're not going to issue the original 2008 version. <laughs> I don't know. But what if this is then, or if this is now, what was then? And if this is then, what was now? Uh, this is a sports car, so how many sports cars does uh, Tesla make? Uh, just one as far as I know, so anyways, that's going to be cool. <laughs> anyways, I don't understand then and now for this, but somebody explained it to me, maybe if you know. Now, this is a new fantasy casting, but as you can see, it's in this uh, kind of uh, bluish gray, number 55, and it's Another one that I think in 19 or the, the, the 50th anniversary, uh, they came out with one, uh, I can't remember now, but and each year they've come out with a new version of something <laughs> of a new kind of hot rod. Uh, let's uh, uh, hang on, I can do something better here. Let's look at the actual casting out of the package. Very cool looking car. Really like that a lot. And you see a, the exhaust coming out of the back. I love those wheels, but you know, maybe uh, get some cool premium wheels and put those on. And look at the aero skirt on the side, the what have you there. That looks really cool. And I like that a lot. So that is a really cool car. Like I said, you know, put some cool rail riders on that. That's going to be an awesome looking car on its own without even customizing it. Uh, there you go there. Yeah, 2022, so it's a brand new casting. Mod Speeder. All right, I love it. So that's really neat. Well, I got to look at this one. 94 Toyota Super. I love these Tune Series cars. And it's so neat. But uh, hang on. I can do uh, two better. Now I have the Charger and the Super together. How cool are these? I love them. So anyways, let's look at the next one. ID Buzz. I love this. <laughs> so cool. How awesome. And that's a cool color to come up with. Yellow and white. And it's a beautiful metallic yellow once again. Now one thing you got to look at is uh, the tampos, the headlights, and then the side portion there. Uh, the side portion here and the back of the taillights. Uh, I found a lot of them, or saw a lot of them, that the taillight tampos didn't match up from front to side. And so you really got to look them over. But otherwise, absolutely cool. Well, let's actually have a look at this uh, loose. Yeah, I found another one that had uh, some paint issues. But I thought, nah, I don't care. I'm going to take out a package and 
and as you can see uh, taillight tampos on the side kind of line up there oh that one a little missing but and then on the front oh look at that <laughs> doesn't line up at all where it should look like that <laughs> but overall I don't care yeah, it's so cool and then this whole dark portion is plastic which is all right you know premium versions they can color that in and do whatever and I think this is really cool so anyways that's that one and then the last one is a very cool uh, casting that used to be in premium and now it's in mainline so really nice 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone this came out in the Hot Wheels Classic line and then the Cool Classics and now it's in the main line and I think it's a really cool casting although you got a plastic chassis now and so let's see uh, Copyright 2022 So since it was never in the main line, then even though it was a premium version, it's actually essentially a new main line version. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I absolutely love this. And of course I have a second one. Ah, how cool is that? El Segundo Cyclone. Very nice, wide tires on it. Uh, I actually love any Hot Wheels that have big wide tires on the back like that, you see. I think those are cool Hot Wheels to collect. <laughs> Anyways, that's just me. And now this uh, kind of silver gray plastic. Uh, you got to take one of these apart and then paint all that up. And at least chrome or maybe silver paint on the bumpers for uh, aluminum bumpers. Paint the grills. You gotta put in taillight details there. But anyways, very cool casting and you do get a roll cage, well, a roll bar. And two racing seats, so that's really neat. So anyways, love that one. So those are my new finds. So it was a magical Monday. <laughs> I love these cars, I hope you do too. Oh. Fast and Furious wants to fly right off the table here. Okay, well, we got to have it like this. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.